We are here on ASPCA Adoption Day at the Hampton Classic, where we have a wide assortment of animals, rescue animals, available for adoption. There are dogs, cats, horses, and we have with us a few very special guests. We have with us Pamela Levine, the Hampton Classics Executive Director, Shanette Cohen, and a special guest that Shanette and Pamela have with us. Uh, Shanette, who is this? this is Dixie. Dixie's looking for a new home. She's adorable, and she's looking for breakfast right now. We're going to get her to come back. Over. I think she, was, she wasn't making so much noise before. Maybe she's camera shy. Well, maybe she's trying to talk on camera. Who knows? I see she's very excited about this field of grass she gets to eat. Pamela, they lo pigs like to eat grass. They do. They're wonderful. They just they don't eat the whole plant. They don't pull up the roots. They just eat the... They, so they, in effect, mow your lawn. So I could bring Dixie home once a month. She'd mow my lawn, and I wouldn't have to do a thing. That's true. And she loves the salad. Keeps her girly piggy figure. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. Shanette, ASPCA Adoption Day has become a real fixture here at the Hampton Class. It has. We're so thrilled to welcome all of these animals in need of a, a good permanent home. And we give a place for um, the animals to be showcased here. So for people who'd like to come out and take a look at some dogs, cats, pigs, and, and horses that are need, in need of a good home, they should come on out. Well, of course, we all support the ASPCA and all the wonderful work that they do to rescue animals and protect animals. And we thank you and the Hampton Classic, of course, for playing such a big role in helping the ASPCA. We're here with Valerie Angeli of the ASPCA on ASPCA Adoption Day here at the Hampton Classic. And Valerie, looks like you have a special friend with you. I am falling in love with Odie. Odie is a three-year-old puggle, or, or is she a puggle mix? I'm a puggle from AC&C in New York City that came all the way here for ASPCA Adoption Day at the Hampton Classic today. And I guess it's our hope that someone will come along and give her a very good home. Yeah, it's our hope that someone will give her a great home. And we have six dog and cat rescue groups here today that are bringing animals for adoption like Odie. I saw puppies. I saw Doberman mixes. I saw, I see husky mixes, lab mixes. There's puppies and dogs of all ages. And we even have pigs here that I saw just come in. And we're going to have horses coming in any minute, rescued horses that need homes too. Well, it's so wonderful what ASPCA does. One, to protect animals, two, to rescue animals, and then seeing it through to find them loving forever homes. We have been around for 146 years, and we are thrilled to be a sponsor of this horse show. And we are absolutely thrilled that you embrace our organization as a partner in doing the right thing by animals. And, you know, they are our partners in sport and you know there are companions and sometimes they wind up at risk for reasons that are not their fault and they wind up in shelters they wind up being dumped and they need homes and we need to advocate for them and you guys have given us such a great opportunity to have an advocacy station here and to have all these wonderful rescued animals that need homes and today is a great day to be here to adopt and to see all the great work that these rescue groups do and just join us and celebrate animals today. Well, we're so thrilled to have you here. We really commend you for all the wonderful work that ASPCA does, and we hope you'll be part of the Hampton Classic for the next hundred years. Oh, thank you. We hope so, too. And again, thank you for everything you do for us and for all your animal welfare efforts alongside us. Thank you, Valerie, and thank you, Odie. That was her way of saying, I'm looking forward to a wonderful home. Yay, you're so good. Someone's going to love this dog. I'm here with Michelle on ASPCA Adoption Day at the Hampton Classic. Michelle is with Gimme Shelter from Sagaponic. Tell us a little bit about what you do. Well, thank you for having me. My group is actually, um, we rescue animals from kill shelters across the country and we get them spay neutered, vaccinated, microchip every single animal. When they're healthy, we transport them up here to the island and we look for amazing adopters. And while we're looking for adopters, the dogs stay in a wonderful network of foster homes that we have out here and uh, people look after them until we actually find them their forever homes. And have you been to the Hampton Classic on ASPCA Adoption Day before? Nope, this is my first one and I'm very honored to be invited. Thank you. And who are these guys we've got down here? 
So these are two of our pups that are looking for homes. Uh, the one, well, <laughs> they're both playing. Uh, Very playful. This one here with the black muzzle is um, Rio, and he's about he's a four-month-old collie mix. And the other, this other little cute guy is Brooks, and he's about five and a half months old. He's a lab hound, and he's already house trained. He's a very, they're both very sweet boys. Well, we very wish you cool. best of luck with both of them and with all, and thank you for what you do to help these dogs. Here we are again on ASPCA Adoption Day at the Hampton Classic, and we have a group here from the Southampton Animal Shelter Foundation. And uh, please tell us a little bit about what you do. Okay, we are located in Red Creek Park in Hampton Bays, which is very important for people to know. We are an open shelter, that means open admission. We do not select Fifi and Fufu. We take every animal that comes our way, no matter if it's a man-eater or if it's ill or whatever, and we turn every animal around. We have a tremendous behavior department. Um, this is like going to a chic hotel for pets. People are happy to see their animals here. They go to playgroup in the morning. Kathy is a trainer. Gina it, over here is a volunteer coordinator who runs training programs with the trainers to make our dogs behave better. And I'm holding Blake, who is a puppy mill dog, who is a wonderful animal. He's about four years old. And he doesn't warm up quickly, but he is bulletproof. He loves children. And I want the other girls to say something now. Well, he looks awfully sweet to me. He is sweet. Oh, he's so sweet, you know. And our volunteers work with all our animals at the shelter, besides the behavior department. And we train our volunteers so that our dogs become more socialized and therefore more adoptable. And we're really excited. As you can see, some of the people here in the blue vests, those are our volunteers who have achieved what we call pack leader status. And they've been trained by the behavior department to work with our animals. So we're very supportive of, you know, what we do at the shelter, and our community just he's loves smiling. us. So, yeah, he's smiling. And did you work with Blake when he first came in? So, yeah, uh, we work with all of our dogs. Now, especially this guy, he's a special case because he is a puppy mill dog. And we're trying to educate the public about when they go out and they buy their dogs. Well, we have so many, you know, homeless pets in America. So what we do is we try to help out puppy mills. We take the older dogs, we take the studs and the females because, unfortunately, they get kind of disposed of after, you know, they're not used anymore. So these guys have lived their lives in cages. You know, so we get him out now, we socialize him, he's with people, you know, Gina's got the volunteers working with him and everything. And our behavioral program is one of the top, you know, programs in the country. You know, we have other shelters that come out to us. We work with uh, dog aggression. We are one of the only shelters that does play groups. We'll have 15 to 20 dogs, if, like in a field backyard like this, all out playing together because it cuts down on stress for the dogs in the shelter. Public training classes at the shelter too, so the public can come in and Kathy will train them obedience. So we've got a lot of things going at the shelter. And when you do adopt from us, you get lifetime training with your dog. Well, that's fabulous. We're thrilled that you're here. We think it's wonderful Thank what you, you do, and uh, we are sure that Blake and some of the others will find homes and get a chance to live not in cages. That's right. <laughs> I mean, up for adoption. Can you believe it? This is great. Yay! I don't want to spook them. Oh, I love the ribbons. Hi! <laughs> is that Casey? Is this one Casey? From Belmont? Which one? Uh, Anna? Okay, beautiful. Oh, look how beautiful. The yeah, other are from Project Save. They're all adoptable, and we will show how wonderful and adoptable they are when we have our riders get on. And they're beautiful, aren't they? They look like they should be in the Hampton Classroom. <laughs> A little bit about your organization and this incredible horse up for adoption. Sure, I'm Brittany from Project Sage Horse Rescue. I started Project Sage when I was 16. Um, we rescued 160 horses. 
This is Halia. She was rescued from a New Holland horse auction. She was about 275 pounds underweight when we rescued her, um, but she's completely rideable. She walked our cannons and we just started her over fences. And how old is she? She just turned eight. Unbelievable. Look at this. I mean, when you can get in a magnificent horse like this and give her a second chance when she's still basically a baby, right? Yes. At least 25 more years if you take good care of her. Definitely. And that's the situation going on across the country. We all know about the recession horses. And just recently in the New York Times, there was a whole horrific story about the drought horses all across the country, horses vying for water. And it's unbelievable because the numbers are staggering. They said over 180,000 horses alone are given up by their owners. People just don't want them anymore, and they're just turning them free. And then you have situations like this. And it's so important to give them a new job, a new purpose. It's repurposing these wonderful animals that have so much more life in them. So this is wonderful. How many horses do you have altogether? You have four here today. We have three here today. Three. Okay. And how many in your whole organization right now that are available? We have 27 horses right now that are available. And so people, if they want to get information, you have a website? Um, yes, projectsagehorserescue.org. We focus so much, and thank goodness, on the small animal situation, which is so dire, and I feature it every month on the Today Show. And I've been begging them, I want to go from meow to wow to nay to yay, and I want to bring horses in. And it's, you know, a much more difficult situation because of the cost and the size, which is why the situation is worse. So we really have to figure out a way to try to make a difference for them. I don't think people realize how horrific it is. Across the country, you see people literally in Texas, they're turning them out on the highway because they can't afford them anymore. I just wanted to introduce Stacy Siegel, who is works with our equine fund. And to Jill's point about how many horses are in jeopardy and how many horses are at risk, Stacy deals with rescue groups across the country where the ASPCA offers grants to these groups so they can do the rescue of these incredible horses you see here. And Stacy's gonna explain a little bit about how that works. Just real quick and then we're gonna talk to Haley about the horse she's on. So I just wanna thank Georgina and all of our ambassadors for showcasing these amazing horses. And as Valerie said, I spend time every day working with horse rescues. And all these horses out there, they just, they're not unwanted, they're unlucky. They just need a second chance. And it's folks like you in the industry who we need to support our cause. You can do that through donating on our website. Right now we're trying to raise funds for hay. The drought has had a huge impact on horses. Um, and we're always, every penny that you give to the equine fund goes back into helping give a rescued horse a new lease on life. So thank you and please consider taking one of these beautiful animals home. So while Haley's getting comfortable here, she's just walking around and getting to know her horse. So Haley is on Aaliyah, eight years old. Maybe she'll change direction and let her go the other way. So what's your name? I have Andrea. And obviously you're with Project Sage as well. Yeah. Let's turn around this way. He's not busy eating grass. Tell me a little bit about this guy. This is Margarita. Oh, a girl. A, a mare. Mm -hmm. okay. She's um, a 16-year-old thoroughbred mare. Who likes to go around in circles. circles. So we'll <laughs> just follow her. She loves to eat grass. Yeah. Who doesn't? <laughs> um, she walks on canner. She goes over cross rails. She yeah. wants to talk. She wants to talk. Who doesn't? Yeah, she's great. She's super quiet. You can bring her on trail. So How old is she? 16. 16. And you know, that still is a great age, especially if you're considering trail riding. It's really a wonderful age to get into for your kids. Would she be suitable for young riders? Yeah, I think so. And a beginner or advanced beginner. Okay, great. Well, we're going to test her out and put some of our riders on her. <laughs> All right, so while George gets adjusted in the saddle, she'll probably just start off walking and relaxing the horse and just see if it can just walk around under tack with a new rider and get familiar in, in this new environment. Ready, George? <laughs> so she's just going to sit and walk and do some nice smaller circles and just keep it in this confined area and just see how well it listens to her and settles in the arena here. I just have to say that 
you know, uh, I own seven horses, and I'm telling you, mine would be much more nervous than this here, and I've owned them since they were babies. This is her first time on him. It's not exactly like he's used to showgrounds, this rescue animal, and he's really acting very well, isn't he? Isn't he doing nicely? And so is Georgina. <laughs> Georgina, you could have a future at this. <laughs> Horse whispering. <laughs> yeah. And Georgina's doing such a nice job, and she's petting him and really letting him get to know her and get comfortable with her and let him get settled into this environment. Yeah. And maybe, George, when you're ready, if you could just ease her into a trot and see. No? And there's George trotting away, and like Pamela said, <laughs> most of our horses aren't that relaxed <laughs> that show in this environment. And this horse is brand new to this, and just she got right on and started walking, trotting. Okay, I'm not in your world, and I, I don't know anything like you guys do, but that looks like a very nice mover, it, right? It's, Pretty flat. It, it looks like it's a really sweet little horse that could really suit somebody. Right. And it, a good brain, and... She's just able to keep it under control down here. And I mean, this would be a great riding horse for somebody. And there are so many different jobs that these horses can have. And there she goes. <laughs> oh, and it has a really sweet canter and a great expression. This is a really sweet horse. It picked up the correct lead when she asked. So this horse has a lot of, it's well on its way to being a nice riding horse. Talking, you know, this is a free horse. Right. This is amazing. Look where we are. Look at the area we're in, and look at the horses surrounding. Great job, George. Yay. And then we'll see if it maybe will pick up the right lead just as easily as the left, or counter canter like the McClay finals. <laughs> see, this could be your next McClay horse. <laughs> I like the left lead. I like the left okay. lead. That's probably from racing a little bit. Those horses tend to want to pick up the left lead more, but it's something that you can work on and they can get just as even leaded. But this horse looks like a super riding horse for free. He did the trick, right? And so did the horse. Yay! Georgina, great job. And this is a beauty. He's a beauty. Okay. These horses come right out here. They've never been out here before. Um, they've never seen... Um, a, a competition arena like this and they just come out and they trot around like nothing ever happened so you know that says so much about their character um, that they are able to just come out here and do this so um, I was very impressed by her she was really smooth and easy um, I felt you know very confident on her um, I think that she would be a great addition to anyone's family no saddle on this one does this one mean we don't ride <laughs> uh, she's good for light riding Light riding, okay. And what does that mean? Just like trails or walking? Yeah, just nice, relaxed uh, riding in the rain or on trails. Oh, okay. And how old is she? She's 18. This is Anna. She'd be a good companion horse yeah. as well, right? I'm <laughs> getting a little dizzy here. Hold on one second. Yeah. So she'd be a good companion horse, and she's... I have that effect on people. Let's just go through all this. Okay. And... She's in good health, obviously, but she, she'd be good for a companion or very, very light riding, somebody that just wants to take it easy with her. Okay. We're here with Georgina Bloomberg on ASPCA Adoption Day at the Hampton Classic Horse Show. Georgina is an equine welfare ambassador for the ASPCA and generously gives of her time to help these rescue horses. <laughs> Thanks George for having me, Marty. Well, thank you, George. It's so great what you do to help find homes for these. Now, had you seen any of these horses before today? I had not seen any of them. Um, you know, I know that they always kind of bring in ones that really need homes that have been ridden before um, that they think would be a good fit to be adopted right away. Um, so we usually don't know anything about them. They're kind of just come right in here, and um, they've all been great so far. It's pretty amazing. You've never seen and you got up and it was like the two of you had known each other for years. Oh, well, thank you. Well, no, I mean, that horse was great for me and I think it would be a really great addition to anybody's home. Well, we know the ASPCA works hard, one, to protect animals, two, to rescue them, and then seeing it through, finding happy homes for them. And this is, I guess, the third year we've done this here and you've been a key part of it each year. Yeah, it's been an amazing event each year. Um, you know, last year, obviously, we didn't get to do as much because of the hurricane, but um, but it's been so great to be able to get the word out and to get, you know, these horses here where, you know, everybody who comes, you know, sees the horses that are in the main ring that are pampered and well taken care of, and it's really important to see the side of it as well. 
Did you get a chance to see the dogs and the cats and the pot-bellied pigs that we have here today? I have not yet. I'll make my way over to see them. But I have five dogs right now, so I'm kind of at my max. But uh, <laughs> there's always room for another rescue, I believe. Right. Well, there were some people showing, and i got to tell you, uh, some of those dogs were giving just so much love as soon as you went over to them. And I don't know how people can come and not want to take some home. It's very hard. That's kind of how I ended up with five. But um, hopefully, you know, they'll all find homes and they'll get some good exposure at it. Well, we thank you and we thank ASPCA for all the wonderful work that you do to help these animals and we wish you good luck here this week. Thank you very much, Marty. Thanks, George. Here we are on ASPCA Adoption Day at the Hampton Classic Horse Show and with us is a very special guest, someone who devotes her lives to rescuing and saving and helping animals, Jill Rappaport of the Today Show. Jill, welcome. Oh, hi, Marty. We've known each other for years yes, and uh, we have. we've worked together on very special projects, but this by far, I call this my Grand Prix Monday. It's such a special event because we really are here amidst the most incredible show in the country raising awareness to rescue animals. And look at these horses, Marty. Would you know the difference of these horses versus the ones in the show ring? It is hard to believe that these were rescue horses. To see these riders like Georgina and Haley get up on them, and the first time they've ever seen them, the horses are cool and calm, well-behaved. Anyone would be happy to have these horses. Yes, and you know, I'm so proud of the ASPCA. This is our third year doing this, and it's such a wonderful cause because I don't believe anywhere in the country at any horse show that they devote the time and an event like this this rescue event we also have small animals here we have dogs up from animal care and control which is the shelter I use for bow to wow in the Today Show and you know it's so important I was talking about this to our incredible crowd today that there are at least 180,000 horses alone just unwanted horses by their owners then there's the plight of the drought horses which is in the New York Times just recently all the horses that have nothing to drink that are starving to death across our beautiful country and then you have the recession horses Horses. So yes, you have to have a bigger home, but the same heart, but you need to open up your wallet, your home, your heart to these animals because they will give you back love and affection tenfold and you will feel like you've been saved. I know I have a lot of rescue animals. Well, you're right. We were up earlier actually with some of the dogs and <laughs> they're just giving love. I mean, I bent down to this poor rescue dog and it took all I could not to bring him home. Oh, well, what do you mean all you could? You should bring him home, Marty. Come on, take one. And if I just can give a little plug, I've been working on a Please. very special cause to raise awareness for adoption or rescue. I have not only a jewelry line with London Jewelers in honor of my beautiful mare, Hannah, who I lost last year, the Jill Rappaport Rescued Me Collection, and this is part of it. These are halters and lead ropes that are going to benefit the ASPCA, and it's Opt to Adopt in their bright orange, beautiful color. And I also have leashes and collars and cat collars. A shelter cat is where it's at. I'm a pound hound, smitten with my rescue kitten, a heart melter from a shelter. I can go on and on. But And here's the jewelry, Marty. Look how I've jazzed up the ASPCA bracelet. These are wonderful that. charms. Yeah. And e everyone can be purchased through London Jewelers with the proceeds with the ASPCA. And they all have, you have a horse bit, and it's really a wonderful cause. You get a beautiful item. If you have a horse, you have to have a halter and a lead rope. And who doesn't love jewelry, Marty? You got that you right. You got to wipe by something. <laughs> <laughs> well, we really thank you for all that you do for thank ASPCA you. and to help these animals. And we thank ASPCA for all that they do. And it's a thrill for us to have you here. Thank you so much. I'm grateful to the Today Show for allowing me to have the career I have, which is not a job, it's a mission of my heart.